I'll be presenting today's Radiopedia.org case in radiology, bilateral indirect carotid cavernous fistula. Case courtesy is demonstrated here, and the case link is in the description below. Presentation, we have a 7-year-old female presenting with recurrent bilateral subconjunctival hemorrhages. The patient has had progressive right eye visual acuity loss, diplopia with ophthalmoparesis, red eye, and exophthalmos. On CT with contrast, we see that there's abnormal early enhancement in the bilateral cavernous sinuses. The enhancement extends here to the inferior ophthalmic vein, as well as to the bilateral superior ophthalmic vein. However, here on the right, we see that there's an abrupt cutoff of enhancement, which corresponds with the vessel being hyperdense on the non-contrast series, suggesting a thrombus. On cerebral angiogram, we again see that there's abnormal early arterial enhancement in each cavernous sinus. The patient underwent carotid cavernous fistula embolization, which was performed via a right femoral vein access site. This case demonstrated dural shunts arising bilaterally from meningeal branches of the ECA, in keeping with indirect carotid cavernous fistulas. Indirect fistulas develop between branches of the carotid circulation and the cavernous sinus, rather than directly arising from the intracavernous ICA. As in this case, indirect fistulas most commonly involve meningeal branches from the ECA. Indirect carotid cavernous fistulas are more likely to develop insidiously in postmenopausal females, as in this case, recurrent subconjunctival hemorrhage over the preceding months with several days of progressive visual loss and non pulsatile exophthalmos prompted presentation to the emergency department and investigation. Endovascular transvenous occlusion of the cavernous sinus was successful with resolution of symptoms.